Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to perform the 3D modeling in iClone 7.9. You can create any of the props, take it easy, make it easy just by using the simple shapes in iClone 7. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. This is the contents, you go to the props. Under the props, you should be able to see the 3D blocks. Click the 3D blocks. You can see there are a lot of the basic shapes, the 3D blocks, 3D shapes. You can create any 3D models here and rescale it, rotate it, combine the props. Then you can create anything you want. So I'm going to show you some samples. For example, if I want to create a building or if I want to create a house, let's say I can find a rooftop here, just have a look at the 3D. You can see some pyramids, for example this one, this is a pyramid. This one can be a rooftop, you drag it up, if you press R, you can rescale it. Now this one can become a rooftop as well. If you want to change the color, just click here and scroll down, change the diffuse color at here. Then you can make it a rooftop. Next, maybe you want to have a body, the body of the house. Maybe it is a it is a capsule or just a simple shape here. This one should be no problem. Let's say if you want this, it is okay. Just move it to here and then rescale it, press, press R, then you can move it. And most probably, you can just go to find a container if you want to put something inside there. Or you can just go and find a block, just a simple 3D block at here. Just for example, just a box. Then I want to expand this box to make it become, become the body of the building. Now you can see it looks like a house and maybe I want to combine this part into here. It is up to you to create anything that you want. Now you can have a look. Maybe you want to make it a little bit transparent and here I can just adjust the opacity. Now it will become just like a window or you want to make it in, it is okay. And maybe I want to create some doors for example. To create a door I just need to have another box, another cube here or we can just go to find a door. Just find it here. Even if without the without the door, you also can have some special things like for example, just a box is okay. Just make it small, just rescale it in this way, and then you can attach it as a door. Just put it here. Then you can change the color as well if you want. Just change the color here. Maybe I want to put this door as brown color. Now you can see this is a, this is a door and most probably you want to put some windows. You can hold the shift to duplicate it and then rescale it as well. Change the color to maybe blue. Just make it in, you press, hold the control, you can create your 3D models in this way. Now you can see this is really a simple building 3D models that you created. And how are you going to attach all of this? If you want to attach it, it is quite simple. Just go to the scene, you can see all of this. Which one is the main one? Let's say the 
the body of the house is the main one, you press Q and double click it. This is the main one. You double click and rename it as house 01, for example. And you can just click the rest or click in that way. Then click here, pick the parents attached to house 1. So now once you click the house 1, this is, this is a new prop already. And then what can you do? You can just go to the contents, go to the custom here, the prop, and then you can save as a new prop. You click plus. Now you already save it as a new prop, house 01. So next time you can use this, this prop, just drag it out. Then this is a new prop that you created last time. And you still can move all of this as a sub prop. You still can move it. It just attached on on this cube. It is really easy. So now if I want to delete this, just double click it and press delete. Or you want to delete this window, you can delete at next time. Press delete, this window will disappear. And of course you can reconstruct it. As demo, I will just reconstruct it one more time. Go back to the template. It is under the 3D blocks. I may just choose some of the special things. For example, I want to make it become a mansion. It is okay. I press R to make it small. This is I want to make this as a pillow. And then I want to rescale it in that way. Alright, this is really a special pillow. I hold the control to duplicate it. And then I'm going to extend the rooftop. This one I put it here. This one I put it here. Next, maybe I want to okay, double select and make it here. Now I want to choose another rooftop. I want to make it special. Maybe I want to have this capsule and then make it big. Make it up. In this way, now just make it become an awning and I want this pillow to be in and change the color again. Now you can see I reconstruct it. Of course I need to attach all of these props. Go to the scenes. These are three objects. I click here, hold the control to select all of it. And then, wait, where is the house 01? This is the one I should delete it. Just left one. So these three are independent yet. I, I have to select all of this and attach to the house 01. So now all were attached together. Then I can just save it as house 02. This is really like 3D modeling. So now I go to the content, go to the custom, go to the prop and save it again. Just now I have the house 01. Now I save it as house 02. It is really simple to perform this type of the basic 3D modeling. I can change the color anytime. For example, this one, if I want to change it as a red color, it is okay. It is quite simple. Just change whatever you want. You want to extend it to expand the awning. It is okay. Just to make it smaller. It is up to you to do any modifications. All right. That's all for today about how to perform any of the basic 3D modeling in Icron 7 to make your own props. And this is really amazing for all of you. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If, you've, if you feel all these tutorials are really helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, if you like this tutorial, if you love my video tutorial, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.